Welcome back, everybody. Let's look at some great stories that happened in the playoffs. And what I mean by that is some comeback wins. Now, there was two games or two series that had the comeback wins. And first was the, you know, they blew 3-1. And it's the, the champs. And that's Golden State. They lost their lead, which was pretty big. A pretty big lead. 31-point lead, I think, or something like that. Yeah. So... Let's look at the, the highlight. I just got the, the end of that, and then we'll react to it and then talk about what happened. All right, so this is just the ending. They had a chance to seal the deal. Oh, and you, th you thought they sealed the deal, right? But then we have a shot right there that at the end. That guy's going to be good someday. Man. And he shot it like... <laughs> they like, yeah, yeah, you're a rookie, too. Yeah. Boom. Look at, look at the oh celebration. Oh, my God. Uh. Okay, this is a weird quote. <laughs> we don't die, we multiply. We're roaches. <laughs> We're roaches. Yeah, it was something that come back from 31 points. Mm -hmm. Something very impressive. Really, very impressive. Did you, did you, do, you, do you guys think that the Clippers had that in them? Or, or was it just a surprise in general? Like, whenever you think Clippers are down, do, do you now think, oh, there's still a chance for them to win again? Well, they're team first, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I realized about them. And I think they're just one start away. To be team. And they have history of coming back in the playoffs. I remember around 2012 when Blake Griffin and Chris Paul uh, lead the way play against uh, Memphis. And they were down 28 points around third or fourth quarter. And they came back. I guess something about those fans. Yeah, the fans. Yeah, maybe the fans or maybe also the coaching, obviously, and the players. But... I don't know. They, it's 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 different coach from the first one and this this one. Mm -hmm. But yeah, maybe the fans, the way they cheer for the team and how they love Clippers, especially there's no Lakers right now. So yeah. <laughs> let's yeah. talk about the fans. You're a Philly guy. Yeah. If your Philly team was down 31 points and the other team came back to win in a playoff game, how would you feel? I would jump around, man. Like for me, sometimes when it's 30 points and I get so annoyed of watching uh, Philadelphia because of the coach. Like, I've never seen a team, someone babysit, uh, babysit a team like that. Like, I never saw, see a coach that can just break down and, like, couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. So, for coming back 31 points, I'd be happy. Yeah. It's like, I, maybe I would change my mind with Brett Brown. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think yeah. of, uh, what do, what like, do you think uh, about 31 that? points coming back? But I feel like Golden State have a history of choking within the Oracle Arena. Good thing they're moving arenas next year. <laughs> mm -hmm. So then they, they don't have that choking ritual hanging above them. Um, the internet just went crazy. Because mm -hmm. especially because they lost by... It was like the it theories, was like the random theories <laughs> that just popped one. <laughs> yeah. They were saying that if they were up 32, it would never happen. <laughs> yeah. Just because it wasn't 3-1. Yeah. But um, it's sad. This It really breaks Kevin Durant and Stephen Curry's legacy because you don't see any legends like that. I feel like this year is actually the disappointment of legends. You see LeBron, he didn't make the playoffs. Yeah. Mm. Now Kevin Durant and Stephen Curry, they choked a 31-point lead. Yeah. And it's just the beginning of the playoffs. So, And they're, and then they're in a bad situation too yeah. because DeMarcus Cousin, right? He also yeah. got injured. And now, well, you talk about legends. Bogut's almost a legend in Australia, I yeah. think, right? So now he, has, he gets some time. To be to be on the court, but just losing a thirty-one point, you yeah. know, lead is something else, and you don't wish your team to lose. If Raptors would lost a thirty-one point lead, I'd be, I'd be so mad. Sometimes and, you question the chemistry with a team. Mm -hmm. right? Like if you like you're winning by thirty-one points and you just lose just like that, you mm -hmm. kind of question the chemistry. But you know, especially what happening this year with Draymond and Kevin Durant. Yes, they have chemistry, but sometimes when everything goes down for the Warriors. They start blaming each other, like Draymond, Kevin Durant, arguing because they were losing. Same thing with this one. They didn't know what to do after coming back from, like, I mean, uh, Clippers coming back from 31 points. But I think the Clippers also had that in them because they're, yeah. they're again, they're a really gritty team. Like, Beverly yeah. just gets in your yeah. face, too. Like, it, it happened. He got into Ke Kevin Durant's head, mm -hmm. too. And everyone can play. They're all, like, role players, too. So, like you said, they're mm -hmm. one star away, and I hope it's not Kawhi that goes there. <laughs> I really hope there's so many fly. sides. Don't worry, I have three players for Sixers. <laughs> yeah. There's three players that is free agent this summer. So, <laughs> oh no, that's another thing to worry about. All right, let's look at the last comeback. Now it's the Boston comeback, and let's check this out. And it's who's who is it led by? The two, Kyrie Irving, obviously Uncle Drew making some shots, and then we got 
You know, look, look how hyped they are. It looked like the, it's Indiana sealed the deal too. Like it looked like they were good, but Boston just comes back. Indiana is very nice when it comes to and, coming back. Mm -hmm. oh, and that's Tatum right there hitting because shots. Because all the depot is like, you know, yeah, that's you, their team, and then now they're they made the playoffs without just going down to. And he just and mm. boom, Tatum seals it with a dunk yeah. there too. But yeah, yeah, and look, oh, he's crying. He's oh, how did he? <laughs> how do we lose? And then they're just celebrating right there. Uncle Ju celebrating. What did you think? What do you think about that? But you know, a lot of people know that Boston has it in. They're really deep, you know. Yeah. So is that a surprise or like? Is not surprised at all. Yeah. Like, when it comes to Celtics, mm. you're not like you're not surprised if they're out the first round or they win the championship. They're yeah. the kind of team that like you're not surprised. Kind of like Spurs back in the day, mm -hmm. you know. But what do you think about that one? Do you think they for, can go um, far? Or? For Boston? Yeah. Well, they just lucked out with matching up with Indiana because Indiana doesn't have Victor Oladipo. People say, especially on, in, on the internet, that if Victor Oladipo was playing, the series would have been 2-0 Indiana. Mm. And with Boston playing an uh, all, uh, all-starless team, it's a lot easier for Boston to proceed. And also, it's basically a warm-up for the next round. Even if it's close, they still I feel like it's guaranteed just because Victor Oladipo is out of the matchup. Victor Oladipo just changes. He yeah. does, yeah. But they have a good coach, though. I'm not going to lie. Oh, uh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And they make, they make big shots, too. Like, Tyreek, like, they, they made some big shots, and they went one-on-one. One -on -one. But, again, to, to rely on, like, yeah. Kyrie and just Tatum making big shots, that's another thing. Because Kyrie, when he puts it into overdrive, he's like a magician when he's just yeah. going in point, though, like... They were coming back. They couldn't do anything because Oladipo is not there. They don't really have a star. Like, right. I kind of mm -hmm. agree on him. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But what do, what do you think about your playoff, um, your Philadelphia matchup? Like, what's, what's going on over there, I don't there, know. With uh, Brooklyn, like, I've never seen a coach get out-coached like that. Mm -hmm. Like, um, when they double-team and beat, uh, they just go, like, Simmons just stand up and don't do anything. So... I never seen someone babysit like kind of like earlier because there's one time when the uh, D'Angelo in game one had mm -hmm. a screen, I mean pick and roll, yeah, and he scored four times on Boban. Boban don't have defense. He can score. He's a good player, but when it comes to uh, pick and roll, he's not good. And I, I was so pissed because <laughs> how do you not see that if you're a coach? Like yeah. when it comes to playoffs, they will watch your whole season because they will they, so they can tell what you're gonna do in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. So. For me, I was so like pissed, like you know. I guess for some Raptors fan about when doing Casey and stuff like that. So yeah. What do you? Yeah. What it, has your has your prediction changed about the matchup series or like the wins? I'm still or, scared of Raptors. Yeah. Because um, you guys shut down um, Vucevic. So when Embiid comes along, it's gonna be different. But I don't know. It's really hard right now. <laughs> All right.